Hello everyone, it's the Batman Statue Collector and the wait is finally over. Right here is the Half Scale Ledger Joker by Prime One Studio. We're going to unbox it next. All right, guys, like I said, welcome back. And, you know, this has been a piece. Uh, if you've watched my channel, if you know me personally, um, Heath Ledger Joker is by far my favorite villain, my favorite character of all time, uh, even named my firstborn son Ledger. So um, you can tell how much we love the character in our family. Um, I saw this particular sculpt. It was teased uh, a little over two years ago. And uh, from the moment that I saw the teaser, I knew that this was going to be a piece that I had to have no matter how much it cost and believe me the, this guy is not cheap uh, so I saved for a really long time and now he's finally here and it's, it's kind of surreal I can't believe he's actually finally here and I'm really excited um, this guy actually came in two boxes um, I've already packed the other one away uh, the box is exactly the same on both boxes okay but I did want to show you um, what the, the, the box art basically looks like here um, you can see it's just you know basically the, a photo of the statue itself on the side we have some of the original uh, type teaser art here on the back we have why so serious and then of course we have here again a nice profile shot on this particular one um, this is a limited edition of 1,000 pieces, and this is number 146. I'm real happy with the low number. Again, 146 out of 1,000, that's pretty great worldwide. And so, um, you know, bottom line, I'm just ready to get this thing unboxed. Let's go ahead and do that right now. All right, guys, so we are going to be unboxing uh, box one, first of all. So I've already got it cut. It's ready to open. Here we go. Ah, that's kind of what I figured. This one is going to be the base. And again, Prime One is wrapping it in the cloth, which is brilliant. Uh, this is my second half scale from them. And so um, I'm used to this base. Uh, everything looks good so far. Uh, again, they wrap everything with these uh, little uh, felt deals to protect the lights. Um, and I'm guessing the nameplate it's going to be right here and that is exactly what this is this is the Dark Knight nameplate so we'll get to that as well as we unbox but basically this whole entire box is just this base and so far so good let's go ahead and get to box two all right guys so this is now box two and it looks like there are three separate layers uh, top a middle and a bottom layer so let's go ahead and dive in I've already cut off the first layer let's see what we get here pop it open and okay well this looks like it is going to be the majority of the items looks like we're gonna have um, the shoes here and probably here as well so there we have the shoes and in this section it looks like we're going to have the gun the pistol and over here we're going to have the gun the large machine gun here we are going to have one of the hands actually I bet these are all going to be hands here again they're wrapped with the amazing cloth that Prime One does so much better than just tissue paper protects the paint um, I've had no paint issues with my Prime One products um, again I bet this is another hand Here's another hand there here I'm not sure what this is gonna be possibly another hand oh yeah these are the fists so the fist there and here and we are going to see the other fist as well. And then this is the moment that I've been waiting for. You know, I can care less about the body, but this moment right here is what I'm most excited about. So here is the head. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and take him out. I've been waiting forever to see this guy. 
Okay. Got to set him out there. Sorry about the shadows. Looks pretty good. I have to look this guy over with a fine comb tooth comb here. I have to look him over real, real, real good, but uh, initial impression is it looks pretty good. Can't wait to get this guy set up. All right, so I just removed that top layer right there. And now, of course, this is the body layer. And like I said, it's about ready to get awkward. <laughs> Because we have basically just a naked statue. Okay, but he's all in one piece. So that is a great sign. Uh, have his arms here. Arms are here, and then on the other side as well. Uh, but basically this is the body. Again, it's just all basically one naked piece. Uh, that we have to dress ourselves. So uh, let's see what the clothing look like. All right, so the very bottom of the box, there's just this uh, flat piece, um, and that is where the clothing is going to be. And so we have the inner jacket right here. Uh, we have the actual uh, vest and shirt. And of course, we have the trench coat itself got the pants and I can see that the chain is in there with the pants and then here we of course we have the tie so again all of these are nice and flat I'm probably going to iron these as well but uh, basically they're just displayed with the rest of the body all right so that gives you a little bit of an idea what the inside of the boxes look like uh, now I've, I've already taken out the base uh, just to save a little bit of time uh, this base is very similar to the one of the Ben Affleck half scale and the other half scale pieces. Uh, they did that so they looked all the same. Um, I don't have that Ben Affleck piece anymore. I did sell it to an amazing collector who I'm going to be featuring here real soon. I cannot wait for that. Uh, but this base is really great. It basically has a nice uh, cracked concrete look. Uh, paint looks really good on it. Uh, very simple. Uh, again, just a nice touch. Uh, Prime One put these little felt little pads. Uh, around the lights uh, just to protect it in shipping. So again, just a really nice touch that Prime One does. They do go above and beyond to protect your items as they are being shipped. Uh, just really, really great. Um, again, very similar to the other um, statues uh, where they have the lights that can come out. Um, and they can also be adjusted uh, and pivoted so you can shine the light either straight up or at an angle on the statue. Uh, I'm not one to shine the lights usually, uh, so it's not really a feature that I will probably do, but I do want to show you again that the batteries go in the front compartment. And this one does just come with one of these. Uh, it's the only one you need, and it is the Dark Knight logo. So um, again, it's a really nice little feature. You can either set it up here if you wish at the top, or in the front of the statue to block that battery compartment. Uh, that's probably the way that I will display it. But again, just a real simple base, really nice, sleek looking. Um, it's uh, I, I, from previous experience, it will get some fingerprints on it, so you want to make sure you wipe it down and keep it nice and clean. Uh, at the top of the box um, is the instructions. Um, I'm going to say that this is probably going to be the weirdest unboxing that I've ever done, and you'll see why here real shortly. Um, but there is a lot of instructions on getting this guy put together because he doesn't come with any clothes on. Um, and a lot of collectors um, thought that that was very strange. <clears throat> I personally, I understand it. And, but anyway, here is the instructions on how to put them all together. And believe me, I'm going to need these. Um, but the reason why I believe that Prime One did this is because they didn't want the clothes to be wrinkled. Um, I have received uh, other figures, uh, like my original Joker from Sideshow, it's still wrinkled to this day. And I think it's because of the way it was packaged. Um, I think that this was a way to make sure that the tailoring looked amazing once you put it on the statue, instead of being disappointed when you got it and it was all wrinkled from being in a box for a couple months. So that is my opinion, but uh, you might have a different one out there. Uh, but I'm ready now to get this guy set up, so let's start doing that right now. All right, guys, so the first thing that we're going to start with is the feet. Um, it does come separate from the body, and so um, I'm going to take those out here first. 
Look carefully here, make sure. Nice and snug in there. It's got a little bit of the cloth on there. Um, socks look really great. Uh, shoes look really good. They remind me a little bit of the Hot Toys uh, shoes uh, when I used to collect the Joker Hot Toy figures. Um, this one, it looks like there's no keyhole, so that's going to be going right there, I'm assuming. I'll get the other one out here. Yeah, <laughs> this is definitely the one with the keyhole. Nice long peg. Look at that. It's one of the longest pegs I've seen. Uh, that means your statue is not going to go anywhere. And that's going to fit right in there. Show you how far down it goes. Just like that. Fits in. It's keyed so you know exactly how it's supposed to go. Um, now let me go get the body. Alright, so I did tell you a minute ago that it's going to get awkward and this is why. This is the way that the figure comes to you, okay? So it's basically just a skin colored uh, figure, basically just a big giant thing of polystone, um, undressed. Again, we have to dress him, so that's going to be a whole other task in itself. But uh, let's see how you're supposed to put him together. Let's see. I slide it down there. Make sure this lines up. Looks like it's a good idea to go ahead and put the far leg, the non-keyed leg, in first, and then the second one. Okay, so it didn't seem like it was going to go that easily that way. So what I'm doing is I'm going to put in the legs first, or the, the feet first, excuse me. Take it back out of the key peg here. And I'm going to put it in to the legs first. Probably should have looked through the instructions first, but I didn't. So I'm going to be real careful and make sure it goes in correctly. Just like that. Now I'll put them in the keyhole. Make sure that he is nice and snug in there like that. A little trial and error here, folks. That's okay. All right, so looks like there is a little bit of give, but not much. Uh, then, of course, we have the arms, and they are going to go in just like that. So they are sort of keyed. If you can see that, they are keyed uh, like that, and there is a magnet. So as you start guiding it in there, as you start guiding it in through these holes here, it just pulls it right down into place. Okay, so <clears throat> let's go ahead and get some hands just so you can see kind of what it looks like here. So here is a fist and another fist. I'll just do those for now. And I'll kind of show you what they look like. So there are holes. I'm assuming this is magnetized. Yep, magnetized there. Magnetized there. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else we have in here to unbox. Let's just go ahead and get it all out. That might be the best thing to do. Uh, here is the pistol hand, probably one that I'm going to be using. So that looks great. Nice purple color. Looks good. And let's see, we have this hand here, just kind of the open hand. Okay, you just want to have him have an open hand on that side. Same open hand for the other side. If you wanted to have him have basically no weapons, that is an option. This is going to be him being able to hold. Not sure what, I'll have to go back and double check, but this is a cool hand here. And we also have the same, oh, now I know, this is uh, the, uh, the knife hand, so you can choose which hand you want the knife to go in. So that's a, that's a cool touch. I like statues that give you options. That is a great thing, very much so. Let's see what's over here. 
Oh yes, this is the, the hands that are kind of like this. Uh, this is the one where you can put the cards in between. There's a little slip right there. So you can put the, uh, the Joker cards. Okay. Put that up there. This is a uh, popular hand right here. Um, this is, of course, the machine gun hand. Uh, they use a nice little bit of styrofoam there to protect the gun right there. And it is right here. Really nicely done. Very cool. So again, this is a, a hand that can go on this side like that. So again, I think it's going to be a real popular option for a lot of folks. I'll stick the stick that there so I don't lose it. I'll stick this hand back in here just for the time being. Let's see if there's anything else I'm missing. Oh, there is this. I didn't see this on the unboxing part of it. Uh, let me see what's in here. Now, this is going to be the knife right here. Okay. Um, I thought it might be metal, um, but it is plastic as far as I could tell. Um, looks really nice. It looks exactly, I actually have a real one of these uh, that's a replica prop, um, and it looks exactly like the one there. Uh, so it was nice and protected in there. There's actually a little uh, a little slip in here where they, where it was supposed to fit, uh, but they obviously chose to put it in a more uh, protected area. So again, a uh, separate knife, really cool looking. And then I'm guessing that this section right here, no? Oh yeah, there is something in here. I was like, there's gotta be something in here. I'm guessing this is gonna be the cards. Now, if there is one nitpick that I can give on this statue, is it only comes with two cards. And in the promo, um, it had a lot of cards on the base. So I, I am really disappointed that, I mean, how expensive would it have been to print off a couple more cards? Uh, but they do provide two. Um, and again, I, I just wish they would have done a few more. But again, I'm just glad to have them. <clears throat> glad to have them in the first place, okay? All right, so I think that's everything out of this box. Uh, let's keep I moving said, on. I said that was everything in that box, but I did forget the most important part, and that, of course, is the head sculpt. Um, the head sculpt is incredibly well done. Um, I absolutely love it. Um, I'm looking at it. It's clearly made of the poly resin. Now, you can just see the difference in skin color compared to this statue here. Uh, the, your traditional statue would probably be this color. This would be what the face sculpt looks like. Um, I think the sculpt itself is amazing amazing and it's done by one of the most amazing artists on the planet uh, he's done amazing work uh, with heath ledger joker before um, the paint on him is very very well done i think that there are probably some room some areas of improvement um, it is possible that i might add paint to him uh, by a professional painter i'm not positive of course this is a factory doing a, a 1000 of these uh, so for that aspect of things. I think it looks very good. Um, and I think I'll even like it better when I actually get the clothes on him. <laughs> but basically he is just going to fit right in here. Let me come around here. I'm doing it backwards here. Okay. So here we have an incredibly weird, awkward moment where I have a naked Joker. Um, so now I'm going to dress him, and that may take forever, I don't know. I may do a speed video here <laughs> to show you kind of me messing around and trying to get him dressed, um, but uh, let, let, let's just see how that goes. <laughs> spend some time with this much more than I want to uh, have you guys watch because I know you're gonna be bored as can be 
me trying to perfect this guy. So here's what I'm going to do. This has been an unboxing. You've seen the unboxing. Now you're going to have to wait till tomorrow to see the review. I'm going to have them all put together. I'm going to have all the accessories. I'm going to have them up in my bat cave. So please stay tuned. <laughs> and thank you so very much for uh, bearing with me. I am sweating. I am hot from trying to get this thing on. It is not easy, but I know in the end it's going to pay off. So he's not going to look like this. He's going to look awesome. So stay tuned to this channel. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to have the full review up in the Batcave. So please stay tuned. As always, I thank you so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow up in the Batcave.